uh, let us look at python libraries in the data processing phase or uh, in the data processing area we have uh, data manipulation data visualization statistical analysis database operations web scraping and so on and this also includes machine learning so data analytics with python if you see these libraries in the data manipulation space we have to use numpy pandas these two in fact i use it very regularly uh, with my team but there are other libraries like data table etc for viz that, that is data visualization uh, you have matplotlib this is something which we commonly use but you can also use polyamide tire and so on but uh, um, nowadays since we use power bi and tableau extensively so matplotlib is almost like we don't use it for statistical analysis this is something with scipy we use it on a day to day basis but there are other uh, packages or libraries available then for time series you have sk time profit and so on so we have never used these you know, time series but you know time series we never worked on projects where uh, we had to operate using a time series data but then there are projects in the industry which make use of these for database operations we can use uh, koalas kafka python hadoop for web scraping see web scraping we try to do because we want to go to the web and extract information from different websites so we did a project and my team was doing a project in a similar line for uh, drug research and drug discovery so we made use of scrappy and beautiful soup and we were trying to create a natural language processing application and my team did make use of nltk and we can also use other libraries and for machine learning uh, TensorFlow, Keras, Scikit, PyTorch, these are very popular. From here we have a description of some of the key stuff that we use day to day. Pandas, we use it for data manipulation and exploration. And NumPy, we use it for numerical computing. So you just have to include these libraries and you can make use of this in your code. Similarly, matplotlib, these libraries are fundamental for database. Scikit-learn, we spoke about machine learning tasks. So it offers a range of algorithms and tools for data modeling, data classification, regression. So if you have these use cases where you got to do classification, regression, clustering, so use scikit-learn. So we have uh, TensorFlow and PyTorch. This is majorly used for deep learning applications. You can build and train neural networks, advanced machine learning tasks, and so on. You have a stats models. This library is used for statistical modeling and analysis, primarily used for statistical tests and models for hypothesis, regression testing, and so on. You have something called Dask. This is used for parallel computing and handling large data sets. If you have humongous amount of data sets which runs in billions of records, in that case, Dask enables you to work with data that exceeds the memory capacity of the systems. And then you have OK and Plotly. These libraries are very crucial for visualizations and dashboards. Uh, just like Matplotly, this will also help you with this. And you can explore data and present it in a way which is more user friendly for users to understand, read the data, make sense out of it. OK, so we just understood what are the different types of uh, python libraries for which is very useful for data analytics and data analytics runs across various areas it can include machine learning web scrapping database operations time series data statistical analysis and database uh, or data visualization as well 